Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle with another episode of Melt It Mixology and today we are going to focus on Velvet Moon. If you are new to the series or new to my channel, this is just kind of a mini series uh, where we're talking about each week one of the new scents in the catalog and I'm suggesting some mixes with catalog scents uh, that way everyone has equal access to all of the scents we're talking about. Um, and I'd like you to try the mixes if you have these scents or if you end up ordering them. And eventually we are gonna vote on which ones we liked the best for each of the new scents and we're gonna crown a winner. <laughs> um, I will be doing the uh, voting in the community tab in poll type posts. So I probably won't do that though until after we've actually talked about all of them. If you're new, we're on already scent number nine out of the 10 new scents in this catalog. If you may missed any of the previous episodes, I've got a play link to the playlist in the description box below. So check those out. Uh, today is Velvet Moon and next Saturday we will focus on the last one, White, Amber, and Teak. But of course, we have already covered all the others in that playlist link in the description. So check those out. <laughs> and today, let's talk about first what Velvet Moon smells like by itself. Um, the description is, oh, I have the bar here as well. It is soft vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. So this is a very unique scent. I have not really smelled anything like it even in vendor wax or candles or anything. It is pretty floral but and even powdery at first for the first few hours of warming it but it is absolutely like a fresh air oddly enough like a foggy mist if foggy mist had a scent it's got that musk in there, but you get that like a vanilla musk and fresh air kind of scent to it. It is definitely, I would say, on the feminine side of scents. Um, so keep that in mind when we're talking about uh, the suggestions that I'm uh, about to go with in what goes well with, you know, those kind of feminine floral scents. <coughs> Excuse me. So first, we I'm going to suggest mixing it with cedar cider. And this ends up being about still majority of cedar cider scent when you mix the two equal parts. Um, I would say one to one cube. But of course, if you want to amp up either one of those, because all of our noses are different, our houses are different, our warmers are different, right? Um, if you want to amp up either side of it, once you get a good um, gauge of what the one-to-one -one ratio is like and you want to amp it up, throw another cube in of whatever you would like to increase in the scent. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Cedar cider, for me, mixing it one-to-one -one ratio ends up still about 55% cedar cider, but it brings in that vanilla floral note and I do still get spice from that cedar cider, but I love it with that mix of that kind of that vanilla floral, little powdery type notes. Definitely recommend that. Scarlet Sunflower is the next one I will suggest you mix it with. Now, yes, this is mixing kind of a floral type scent with another floral type scent. Scarlet Sunflower is Sunflower and Cranberry, if I'm not mistaken. There may be other scent notes, but that's kind of the main gist of what you get. And mixing the two, you kind of get the best of both worlds. Um, this, you still get that Sunflower and a touch of Cranberry, and you also get that beautiful vanilla floral with the... Um, kind of a fresh air note to it. So try it with that if you've got that one. 
Next, I'm going to suggest Harvest Blessings. And, of course, there is nothing fancy to see here. This is just my messy handwriting. Um, if you missed that first episode of this, I kind of explained my process of picking these out. I did cold sniff kind of mixes multiple ways, narrowed it down to 16 mixes that I did melt, and then narrowed those down to six to suggest to you. And when I melt them, I end up pouring them back into just these little um, to-go containers, basically. And that way I can still smell, because I don't um, let it lose all of its scent. I can still smell the scent here. Anyway, Harvest Blessings. So, this is definitely like a great fall scent. And kind of like everything else you're mixing in a beautiful kind of floral vanilla musky type scent with it and it's changing it but it still makes like with this harvest blessings it's like a great fall scent but not like super bakery super cinnamon you know it's still got that fall flair but it's got this extra pizzazz from this other from Velvet Moon. Yeah, try it. I really like that one. And of course, as always, I'm trying to save my favorites for last. Uh, next is Blue Sage and Tonka. Do I have that the right direction? I can't. Yes, Blue Sage and Tonka. So, I would say this still is about 75%. To my nose, of course, this is still about 75% Blue Sage and Tonka. But mixing one-to-one -one ratio, it gives it just a little bit of a feminine touch um, added to that masculine scent that Blue Sage and Tonka is. It's not a woody scent. It's more of a sage scent. Um... Yeah, so kind of herbal, but also almost like a denim type note to it, which is weird. But if if you're familiar with, you know, home fragrance, you, you kind of, I think, understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, kind of that denim fragrance with that green sage note, and then you add a little bit of feminine uh, floral to it. Yeah, very nice. If you have that one, try that mix. And now for my favorite two from this uh, mixing session for the last week or so. Um, and I'm honestly not sure which one to put first or last, I guess, as my number one mix. I really like both of these. Um, but these are definitely went out even over the others. Clementine Cupcake. And... If you've watched my videos, you know I usually fall in love with these bakery and floral mixes. And that's what this is. It is fabulous. You kind of get both, but yet they create this brand new fragrance that's um, unique. It's still got a little... Just a touch of powder, uh, like a floral powder note, but it, it, and a little bit of gourmand at the same time. Anyway, it's one of those, it's hard to explain, you just gotta try it. <laughs> and same thing with the next mix, Silver Bells. Silver Bells is uh, like caramel and pear and peppermint, if I'm not mistaken. And mixing velvet moon in there in a way kind of amps up silver bells um like feminine side of it a little bit but again kind of makes this brand new scent that is kind of one of those sexy bedroom scents you know mm. yeah i'm gonna be melting those two for, again for sure before the season is over let me know below which ones you're most excited to try and uh, be sure to likey and subscribe if you haven't already. That's all I have for you today. Um, next week we will cover white, amber, and teak 
and then we'll it'll be time for us to vote so yeah let me know what you're most excited to try and i may have another haul video going up tomorrow but it's actually a sephora haul and i do have some wax in it i got some nest candles um anyway i may put that up tomorrow so keep an eye for that but as always, I will have a Wednesday weekly meltdown and on Saturday, next Saturday, I'll have another mixology, our final mixology episode. And yeah, that sums it up. I hope everyone has a great weekend. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.